we can go in, we need to ask for permission first. Can you all say, Sikuleki le kaya? Super mega! Thank you, Allah! 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. He said, Sia Pila. Sia Pila. He says, Welcome us. Please let's go in. This is a big village. Yeah, this is the, the Zulu replica. Looking on your left and your right side, you have the Zulu guest houses, which are the part of the hotel. If you like to spend the night with the Zulu people, you're more than welcome. And this is how the Zulu people, they greet each other. The Zulu handshake. Saubona unjwani siapi. That's hello. How are you doing? I am fine. Hey. Please extend the chief by saying, Sia Bonga Mkos. Sia Bonga Mkos. Sia Bonga Mkos. The Kazakh in the middle of the village facing the main entrance point because of the worry up there. <coughs> He's watching the candles for the whole day. And to marry a Zulu lady, you pay 11 cows. You can marry as many ladies as you can afford. There is no limit. Don't encourage it. Don't encourage that. You don't even have the men above my head. Oh, more, like, like more money, more problems. There you go. Did she really say that? <laughs> So that means that means if you have zero, that means you're good then. You have no problems. I think so, yeah. I think we will pick Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yes, maybe not. Well, this is the Zulman kitchen, Ikriba. You identify the kitchen with the openings all around till the other side, allowing the smoke to come out whenever they're cooking or bring the traditional beer. And the lady down this side, she's weaving the cross mat, Ikansi. During the day, they sit on the mat. At night, is their mattress, they sleep on it. And this is the most important hut in this village, in Dugakoko, the grandmother's hut. Before they can build any of these huts, they have to start by building the big hut first. It is where the Zulu people, they communicate with their ancestors, they hold the meetings and the ceremonies. Abanga Shatile, please come to the other side. This is how you identify the unmarried Zulu ladies with the short skirt. She is not married and she's showing you how to carry the pot using the ring ink atta for balance. <laughs> 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 okay. This is how you identify the Mary Zulu ladies with the leather skirt and the red hair. Out of 11 cows that they pay for you, this, this letter one cow. With the skin of that cow, they'll make you a leather skirt like this one, Isi Dwaba. And the red hair, Isi Kolo. During the olden days, they used to sew the red hair onto your hair so that you can never take it off. Ladies, if you take the head off, it's a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> That's why on the wedding day, Isit Nehigi will be a present from the husband to the wife. The wife will use this as a pillow at night and the husband as a nice seat during the day. 
<laughs> and this is the grass belt Isi Kaba. As a Zulu married lady, after giving birth, you had to tie your tummy so that it can go back to the normal size. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> they are smoking pipe Iku too, they smoke marijuana. They pour marijuana here. Yeah, ganja pipe, my youth. Ganja, yes. Yeah. They pour marijuana here. Little bit of water, inhale it, but not in front of the young ones. Yeah. Yeah. So they rather go up in the mountain where nobody can see them. Can I try that later? Later, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the meat platter ukogo and a spoon ukeza for eating. Zulu people, they don't eat individually. They always eat as a group, especially the young ones. They share the spoon. You scoop from the left hand side, eat, then you pass the spoon. The <laughs> thing. And this is the grain storage in Molobani. Can you say that? The reason why they elevated this so high is because of the animals. They don't want the animals to reach whatever is inside here. Now we have to go and see the spear maker. If we can do that, let us stand the family by saying, Sia Bonga. Anyone like to taste um combo tea? The Zulu beer? Come, Mama, come. <laughs> yes, the Zulu beer, it is made out of bread corn, sorghum, and maize. Um combo tea. On your knees, please. On your knees. That's a tea. <laughs> How do you know? Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try. This is the part of the spirit. You want to taste? Are you okay? Yeah. He's sleeping. Oh. Right. No, 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 no. You're in the wrong thing. Thank you. 